Hi everyone, it's Paola. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoy this video because I am really excited about it. Okay, so a few videos back, I was looking for a calendar and like a place to start organizing myself and I was asking about apps or sites or whatever and you guys commented Notion, use Notion. And then guess who reached out to me? Notion. And then I was like, oh my god, this is perfect because I get to work with this amazing brand Notion for this video, so thank you Notion for sponsoring, and also like actually use the app and start using it and like actually found something to organize myself. <laughs> um, so this is amazing and I'm going to go through and show you my Notion setup and give you some ideas hopefully and I don't know, take some things from me, let's talk about organization, digital organization for you know, content creators, designers, freelancers, um, if you're just a person who's into this, hopefully this helps. I know a lot of you guys are students too, so I'm showing you everything like for organization, for freelance, for designers, for everybody. Ah, I'm excited, so let's get into it. Okay guys, so this is my Notion dashboard. So this is one of those things that I have been actively using now. I like set it all up just recently and I'm actually like using it every day and it's exciting me every day. So this is the dashboard what i have used it's really nice because you can customize your entire thing starting with notion can feel a little bit overwhelming but once you get into it it's really fun and there are ways to make it simplified for yourself and there are ways to make it like as you know big and complicated as you need it to be for your business or your work i am a simple girl so for me it was all about just laying out the content i wanted and the actual things I needed to stay organized in my life and I have ideas for future stuff I want to add to it but this is really what I'm using right now so let's go over it so on my dashboard I have like this cute little photo um, it's really easy to make a photo for the cover like you can upload your own photo or whatever but I just used ones from unsplash that they have on here as like a link um, so they're just free photos um, and then <laughs> looking at my dashboard I have it broken up by just little sections um, so I have my daily stuff that I need to check out daily. I have some personal things which I'm gonna add more. And then my work. So in my work I have a content planner and then a client and brand assets for like a project. So I'll show you that as my example too. And I also got a lot of these template ideas from Michelle Kanemitsu's channel. Sorry if I just pronounced that wrong, but Michelle's channel had so much advice for Notion and even her stuff was a little bit more complicated than what I've done. Um, but she's like really good at it. I'm just one of those people who likes to keep things simple and maybe that's bad, maybe that's good, I don't know. <laughs> so I have this widget for the weather which I got from Indify and that I will have linked below for you. Um, and then also this little symbol and then also the calendar symbol, they're not emojis. Um, you can put emojis here as you can see, like if you click here, they will pop up or you can do like a link or upload your own image if you have your own designed thing that you wanna make. like. Guys, I know, I'm a graphic designer, maybe I should design some of these, but I just like these little icons, they were perfect for me, and I like using emojis, so for now, I'm not gonna design anything. Um, I might later, but we'll see. So I got this little logo thing from Notion VIP, which you can subscribe to, and they have like a whole thing of icons and stuff that are just really helpful. And again, I got a lot of this advice from Michelle's channel, so I'll have her linked below, but I'll also have all of this linked below for you. Okay, so let's get into the actual breakdown. So this is like my dashboard, so I can just click into everything right from here instead of clicking page by page. Um, so let's go into calendar. So here's my calendar. Again, I've put like a cute little gradient color thing on here. You can upload your own images, you can do whatever. This is one of those symbols from Notion VIP. Um, and then this is an overview of like my month and I haven't filled it all in yet, um, but it's kind of starting from the end of September into the beginning of October. So I'm filming this on a Sunday right now. So I have only had a few days into October, so I'm kind of like still setting everything up. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, but I did post on my Patreon, so that kind of has this here. And then I did post a video yesterday, according to me right now live, which was last week. <laughs> um, but I did post on Saturday, so if you click into this, it just has one of those little icons. You can put an emoji here, you can put whatever symbol, and then what you need to do. And then there's also these things like tags. And there's different tags. I have YouTube, money, personal, Patreon. So I just have like 
you know, personal things I'd put in my calendar, like a friend's birthday or hanging out with somebody or something like that. YouTube would be my posting days. Money is going to be like paydays. Um, so I'll write in like when I get paid from Patreon, when I get paid from YouTube, like the things that come in. And then Patreon is like actually posting to there like when I need to do that. And then I have a video that I have posted which is attached to something in my content planner. So I'll show you that in a bit. So here I have like when I'm posting the Notion video, which is the day you're watching this hopefully, <laughs> or maybe it's in the past. Um, but yeah, that's like the Notion tour video and that's going to be attached to my content planner as well. Here I have my payday from YouTube. Um, I'm going to probably write that in here. I'll probably put YouTube payday and then that comes in usually around the 21st. So that's what I like to just track. And all I really have to do is just like hit these plus signs, type it in, hit enter, and it's done. So I just created one. You can always just right click, delete. So that's my calendar. Um, let me go into my weekly agenda first so I can kind of show you the breakdown of the calendar like month and then I show you how I put it by week. Okay, here's my weekly agenda. It's so pretty. I love it. Um, <laughs> so this is just like a cute little rose photo. I thought it was cute. So this was just my last week. So September 27th through October 3rd. So I have a breakdown of a to-do list and it's just things I can check off. It's great. Um, what's really nice is that when you're writing something, like if I were writing this film notion video, if I just hit enter, it'll come up with another one. Um, and then you can always like delete that if you don't want it. So you can just add whatever. And if you're adding something here, it can be plain text or it can be the to-do list bar, which will pop up with that little thing. If it's plain text, it'll just come up like you're just writing a comment. You know what I mean? So I've actually broken it down a little bit more into like columns. Um, and let, I'll show you templates in a second. I've based this off of templates because I am not one to just put every single thing together on a page. I will show you the templates that you can use, but yeah, this was just like the weekly agenda template. And then I added, instead of just weekend, I added Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because I do end up working those days and posting those days. So, and then once I'm done with this page, I'm going to put it into the archive, which is under this page. As you can see, it's in it. Um, and then I've made a copy of this and we're going to create the next week. So actually, let's do that now. So, okay, I'm done. I'm filming this as we speak. <laughs> so this one is complete. What I'm going to do is just drag this down in here and then drag this one, drag the archive into that. <laughs> let's delete one of the archives and then take this weekly agenda and put it in the archive. So now we can change the name of this to just weekly agenda again. So this one is now in the archive. I wasn't really sure how the archive works, so this is kind of just how I'm doing it. Um, maybe I'm doing it wrong, I don't know, let me know. <laughs> but now we have the next weekly agenda, so I just figured that would be an easy way to do it and just retype everything, but I just copied the page so it has the exact same layout. And then once I'm archived it, I'm going to change the name of this one to just the date. So then when I go back and look through my archive, it'll have those dates and I can just have it for reference. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's skip over a few of the personal things and go to the content planner so I can show you how I actually work. So I say content planner because I have a lot going on with like YouTube, Patreon, and then on top of that, like projects and graphic design stuff. Um, this is not so much for my client work. This is going to be more for like what I have to post, what I need to do. But lately, a lot of my design work is not really client focused. Um, I really want to just work on a lot of my own projects right now. So that's where all of this is going to be. I can change the typefaces. I know it, maybe you've noticed that the typefaces are different. Like on the dashboard, if I click up here at these three dots, I can change the style. And I always put on small text and full width. I found that that was better to customize your stuff. So the content planner is a template that I'm using that really, really helps. Like I've kind of made my own categories, but it shows me my ideas. So these are just things I might do, things I'm just thinking of popping up, whatever. So I just added a few things and then what category they are and what they would be posted onto. So it's like some YouTube ideas. And then I have up next. So it's like, those are the things I know I'm gonna have to do soon or I know I'm planning or whatever. In progress is the 
things that I'm actually doing. So I have the Notion Tour video. So in published, I have my things that I've posted to Patreon and when I posted them, you can add due dates, you can add publication dates. If we click on like the Notion Tour, I just put like an emoji, thought it would be great. <laughs> so it's currently in progress, that's the status. Um, then I have under collabs, so that's where you put your type. This is the deadline, this is the publication date, and then it's related to the calendar. So this is, like I said earlier, related to the calendar. If I clicked here, it's one of the things on my calendar, the post video for October 7th YouTube. So then it pops up in the calendar under Notion Tour, what I titled this. So that's what's gonna be uploaded on the calendar. It's all very easy once you start using it. At first I was like, what the heck? But just clicking that to relate it, they made a button for you and you can just do it. It's amazing. So let's talk templates before I move forward. In the templates button here, you can go in and see all of the different categories and where you can create these pages. So that content planner page was under marketing and it had a content calendar and it was like, here's what you can do here are the ideas how you can put it together you can add media you can add these categories and it just told me how to do it and i was like whoa and then under like design there's things where you can work with like your team and start delegating things to different people there's just so many options and i i really love it there's like a place where you can make a mood board um just adding images i have a collection there's so many different categories and us especially in student there's so much in student. I know I'm not a student anymore, but I know you guys are. So if you need help with like homework, organizing yourself, obviously it's all here. That's where I got my budget one. So this is literally where you make all your pages if you don't know how to set them up. Okay, so continuing on in work stuff, um, this is my client and brand assets page. So I am using that template for, um, I think, which one was it? It's under design, design system. That's the template I'm using for this. So in here, you can upload like typography, you can upload color codes, you can upload icons, logos, pictures, anything. Um, so I'm just showing you, for example, the one that like the brand I'm currently creating. Um, so I put it together in here just to show you. It already had these categories for me when I set it up. It had like logo, image, social, and I didn't really need to change them that much. Um, you can. And then it had like formats like JPEG, PNG. Um, if you click on here, it had, yeah, SVG, PNG, TTF for like a text file, like showing a font that you're using. You can upload that right here and it would have like all of the stuff you're using for a specific client. Like I said, this is my brand. This also helps me too with my own work, um, but I wanted to show it for you. Like if you're a freelancer and you're wanting to work with clients, this is a great way to show like to lay out everything and have it all in one place just to organize yourself. If you're like forgetting what typefaces you're using or what exactly color codes you're using, um, you can leave it all here and it'll just be where it lives. Okay, so getting a little bit more personal, like not work related, but still really helping me stay organized, organize my life. It's really helping. So workouts, I have added a habit tracker template for this one. Um, I just think it's so cute adding these little emojis and stuff. So. Anyway, I put the workout thing together and I added every single date in the month because right now I'm doing a 30 day yoga challenge. So I'm only a few days in, but guys, I'm doing it and I'm trying to stay motivated and stay on top of it. So I added every single day of the week, every single date in October. And then I actually went through and linked all of them. So this is actually not necessary, obviously, but it's really gonna help me because it took me five minutes to put together by copying the link, but I, now I don't have to go look for it. You know what I mean? But this is just what I put together and it took me a few minutes, but then as soon as I was done, I was like, oh great, now I have it for the whole month and I can just come to Notion to do all of my workouts. And then I wanted to show you this budget page I have. So I just put it together and I've left it as it is just because if I add budget things, it's gonna be like really personal. <laughs> um, so I just thought I would leave it as it came in the template. So it kind of shows you like tips when you put the templates on here and it says, keep track of your expenses, how they compare to a monthly cap. So you can like cap yourself of how much you're willing to spend or how much you're allowed. <laughs> add here and add something like um, lunch with and just like that one and it comes up like this I put it in again in the serif one we can also change it to the small text and the full width which I actually enjoy see how it changed it so you could just add the numbers here it looks like 
oh well yeah all i had to do was add 15 and it came up with the with the number and the dollar sign i've i'm discovering it with you i just thought um i would show you this one so we can add our own category like if there's not already a category all you have to do is type it in and it will create it like i know this is food but if it was just like fun like what if i just made it my fun category then i would have fun there you can always add a comment and then you can add the date that it happened so say i went today then it would just pop up like that and then it's perfectly collecting the sum and how much you're spending so wow i love it and i really want to track myself with this especially as i'm going to be moving in with my husband i mean we live together but <laughs> we're going to be moving to our own place right now we're very in, in a transitional phase of life um and we're going to be moving and it's going to be a really big move so we're gonna have a lot to like budget and do i want to make like a packing list on here recipe list which i know is nothing to do with moving but i want to make stuff like that so there's just so much i want to add and there's templates for it so going back to the templates there are things like just journaling there are things like notes um like this one's quick notes this one's journal i love the way this looks um so you can like write your own little journal entries um, I might also make like a quick note page for just YouTube ideas, design ideas, and maybe I'll put like a little cloud emoji, that's what I'm thinking. I really keep things in my head, I'm that type of person, and it's horrible. It's not good for me, it does not help me with my stress, I already feel so much less stressed using Notion, like for real, for real. Oh goodness, okay, that was a lot because I've been so excited about it and I've been so excited to film this because I've been using it every day. So I hope that you followed along. Hopefully, yeah, you followed along, you're good. If you're a designer, if you're a freelancer, if you're in school, I know design school can be crazy. I know you will love using Notion because I am loving it just as much for my work. It's gonna help someone out there, so um, I'm loving it. Thank you so much for telling me about it too before I even like decided to work with them. It was amazing, it was like perfect timing everything works out you came through for real so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like it really helps my channel subscribe if you're not subscribed ring the bell so you can get notified follow me on instagram um check out notion in my link below in the description and i will see you in my next video okay bye of course it gets sunny and beautiful halfway through my filming that's just my look, you know? But I'll look good. <laughs>